going the distance with local sports. Loretto Mustangs. Summertown Eagles. Lawrence County Wildcats. This is the X Sports Network. Shop McMaster's Home Gallery for furniture, appliances, and more. And shop quality, shop convenience, shop service, shop local. A family-owned business with a long history of serving the region. We're a one-stop home furnishings destination. We feature brands you know, competitively priced, backed by professional installation and service. You can trust that we'll take good care of you before and after the sale. For your home, shop smart. Shop McMaster's Home Gallery today. All right, here we are. We are in somewhere USA uh, for some middle school basketball. It's Will and Guthrie here. We are in uh, Fayetteville. Fayetteville and it's Central Academy. Crestwell Middle, which is, uh, I'm told, north of Nashville. Yeah, our research department says they're located northeast, probably about five miles from downtown, north, okay. northwest of downtown. Okay. They are wearing the purple. They are the cheetahs. And then, uh, of course, our girls in the white. It's going to be a three up early. No good. Rebound goes too long. Nice job there. No press early. Coach they, did tell me that they don't press a lot, but they do some, but they, they're kind of chaotic. So maybe our fundamentals will come through here. Just unpredictable is the word. Yep. Easy Garland for a long three. No good. Um, and we're back in our half court defense. That's area tournament MVP, Easy Garland. Yep. Congratulate to the girls, uh, all the girls who made all tournament. Uh, 
I know that was a big game for him. It was a fun one to watch and be a part of. It's hard to beat any team three times in a row. Right. That was a, was a great win for Summertown um, because, that, you know, they came really close before. It was nice to finally get that win over South Lawrence. Right. To the corner to Tess Long, who throws it, and it's going to be kicked by Taylor, and it'll stay with Summertown. It's going to be a lot of games on X Sports Network tonight. Right now, the only other one that I know of is down the street. New Prospect Boys are playing Lakeview Middle. We'll give you updates on that one as we go. Frank gets it in to Tess Long. Over to McConnell, who drives right. Nothing there. Nice job there yeah. by the Cheetahs to take the ball away. Here comes number 11. That's Miller. She'll miss it. And then we'll get an over-the-back call. That I can tell you if it doesn't appear so on the on the screen, they are a tall team, much taller and larger than we are. We're kind of used to being shorter. Yeah. So now we see a 2-2-1 from the Cheetahs. They get it into Garland. Down the side to Franks, ahead of McConnell. Got to look ahead of you. Yeah. Long's going to pick it up and keep it going. Frank's going to fire the long shot. Off front iron, no good. McConnell with a rebound over to Garland. She'll try. No good. Yeah, plenty of chances. Early on, not making shots, but hopefully at least we're getting them. Yeah, hopefully those shots will come. And there's Knowles over to Miller. Back to Knowles. That might be uh, Beyonce's kid. <laughs> One thing that I noticed the other night when they played Eagleville is they did not sub very much. Nice shot there from 40. That is Taylor. Um, kind of just chunked it up there, lower to shoulder. Oh, come on now, Emerson. Yeah. She kind of just halfway did that one. Can't. Nice shot there by Knowles after the steal to score the two. Don't, don't help him. Yeah. Keep it spread out. Don't force the shot where, or the throw where it shouldn't be. It's got to go to the outside first. Here comes Tess Long. She's going to lose the ball out of bounds. Nothing there. We're forcing it. A lot early forcing it. We're down 4-0, 353 to go in the first. Now we show our press. Knowles with it. She looks to be and they, just the, went, they just went by four of our players right yeah. there. Yeah. McConnell's going to get a block and but, then quit playing. But didn't go for it. Yeah. So they're going to get it back. And now, and now we get a foul be because of it. Yep. You get the block, that's great, but why stop playing? Was you, uh, maybe, I think she just assumed she fouled or something. Yeah, or maybe it was going out of bounds. you got to play maybe. through the whistle. Yep. So we look rusty, although we shouldn't be really, early, and we're going to get an early timeout. It'll be a 30-second timeout. We'll take it with them. You're listening to Summertown Middle School Basketball on the x -Force Network. Do you ever worry about having too much in the garage? What about where you're going to put the mower or your ATV or, better yet, your mother-in-law? Look no further than Quality Storage Buildings located right next door to Flat Rock Cheese & More on the Minor Hill Highway in Pulaski, Tennessee. There you'll find the answer to your need in a compact or spacious metal building. Built by hand right at Flat Rock by some of the finest craftsmen around, there's a perfect building for everyone, including economy, utility, cabin, lofted or garage models, and even an animal shelter line. Buy or rent to own. All right, we're back after the quick 30 second timeout by Cresswell. So at the line is Taylor. First shot, no good, and we're going to get a lane violation, so no shot anyway. Didn't count, didn't count either way. Macy has come in. Yep, I saw, I did see that. Pettis has come in for McConnell. Second shot up, no iron, no nothing. And that'll give the whistle blown to Summertown. So we need to spread out the press, keep going outside of the middle here. And we'll be fine. We're not struggling They're with gonna, it. They'll press keep doing this until you beat it. Yep. Get it in the middle to Garland, down the side to Long, back to Garland. That's traffic, a lot of traffic. We're going to lose it uh, out of bounds off of Garland or Pettis. How did it get through both of them? Yeah, I, don't, I think it bounced off of something. Once you get past the press, then you just set something up. Here comes Knowles. She can handle the ball. Seems like she does pretty well with it. She does. She beats the press pretty easy. Throws it right to Franks. And Franks you is going to lose that it. Coming. Yeah, by Taylor. Taylor ahead to Brooks for the layup and the score. So the pressure is not causing it. We're just not no. playing good basketball. No. Franks with it. She throws it over to Long. Long 
goes back towards the middle where the pressure is and she walks. There, I don't know why this looks difficult. Maybe the size, us being up here, you can't really tell it, but maybe the size of the girls is kind of throwing them off and they're sagging back and that tends to hurt teams that are used to more aggressive pressure. And we're, they're just sagging back and letting us make mistakes. So Knowles gets it in. She crosses over Busby. Drives, nice Nobody dish helps. over to Taylor for the easy layup for two. Nobody there to help. Now Frank is going to throw it away again. Izzy's going to knock it and get it back. She's going to be pushed on accident, but nothing intentional there, and she goes to the ground and it'll be a foul. Eight nothing your score. Summertown is down to Cresswell. It'll be Summertown's ball on the side here. We're just hurting ourselves right now. I want to say when they played South Lawrence, they were down 4 nothing or 6 nothing. Let's hope they uh, recover here soon. Well, we've never been a, a fast out of the gate team. Uh, Not really. We are uh, slow to kind of, we work our way up gradually and then we try to turn it on and sometimes it's too late. But So it's three team fouls. Early, on yeah, on Cresswell, and that could be a problem for them as they're not very deep over there. They've got four on the bench, looks like. Right, they just said it in. They didn't use them much. Get it the back other into night. Franks. Pettis was wide open, but didn't. And she missed it. Franks missed her, threw it out of bounds. You know, she, she saw had her. To, took she the had dribbles. the seal, but did not release. Well, I don't know if she could have got that one either. But the pass should have been early. Here comes Knowles between the legs now, and she's going to throw it over the top to Brooks. So they're beating the press, but just letting Knowles have her way. Now Knowles drives the lane, throws up the runner. No good. Rebound goes to Taylor. Taylor gets blocked by Garland, but Knowles is there to pick up the trash for two. Ten nothing to score. Ten nothing. Frank's with it. She's going to have it picked off. About to be 12 nothing. Frank's, Frank's is struggling right now. She's got five turnovers in the first quarter, and now we pick up a foul and a chance for an and one. Got to settle down. You cannot force the pass over the top. This is the same way they started against Eagleville the other night. Probably got up by about this much, and then Eagleville worked their way back slowly. Only lost by three. Right. Well, we can't turn the ball over and expect to win the game. Yeah. I don't know that our press is very effective because they're not keeping people back. But we'll take a break. You're listening to Summertime Middle School Basketball on the X Sports Network. Being raised in Tennessee, we believe in the importance of family and community. Creating a positive experience at our family-owned and operated business is one of the ways we share that belief. Being in an accident can be extremely stressful. When it came time for my repairs, Mashburn's made it easy. I am lucky to have a wonderful company in my community like Mashburn's Collision Center. It's reassuring to know that I'm in good hands because their work is second to none. We pride ourselves that the Mashburn name is one of the most trusted in Lawrence County since all right, we're back. So uh, Coach Springer took a quick timeout, maybe settled the girls down a little bit. Knowles is at the line for M1. Didn't rebound. Got a block out right there, and that's an over the back if you do. But if you're going to jump with them, you're not going to get the call. So the refs are letting them play. I mean, they're not calling any nitpicky stuff, which has not been the case here in the last several games. Of course, seen. now we don't have the luxury of seeing who committed the foul and how many on these scoreboards here. Yeah. But I can say they have four team fouls. Yeah, I should have been writing it down. I know I've got the things here, but I've been. That's the double dribbles or not? Maybe not. That uh, doesn't matter. Knowles Turn it over is anyway. eating Franks up on the front side of the press. She misses the layup. Nobody there to block out, and they're going to get an and one again. This is the simple things in basketball. Make good passes, protect the ball, block out. Two Eagles stood there while she got the rebound and put it back up for the foul. As we get a sub for the Cheetahs, that's number five, I believe, coming in. That's Davis. It's not going a whole lot better for New Prospect down the street. They're trailing 10-4 in the first. At least they're on the board in that one. So maybe our girls will settle down and get a little pumped up here. This team is not 14 points better than us right now. Uh, they are today right now, but they're not that. We are killing ourselves. We'll get it ahead. Three passes, we throw, overthrow Franks. She does chase it down. They get it to Long. Nope. Bad passes right here. Let's go. Now Knowles with it. Crosses are over, crosses Busby over. Gets it to the corner. That's Brooks with it. Skip pass over to the corner now for three. No good. Rebound goes to Taylor. She throws it up, no good. 
Now Tess Lone's going to come out with it. She's looking to drive. That's five, ten fouls now. Looks like she's going to get fouled. Block's going to go against Knowles. I would have thought. I didn't think it was Knowles. I thought it was somebody else behind her. I thought Knowles did a pretty good job of setting her feet there. Well, now we're going to be shooting free yeah. throws. There's your chance to get on the board. Yeah, and we need to make them. Ha have has Summertown made a field goal attempt? Yeah, we have shot. Yeah, we had a we had a couple one shots. One or two, yeah. but that's it. You're very right, early on. Yeah, maybe two. And free throws is not Summertown strength this year on varsity, middle school, high school. Well, that's just part of being a Summertown team. Yeah. There we go. And that that has caused that will cause the a lot of games if you don't shoot well. So the first one for Tess Long goes in. She gets our goose egg off. Second one's good as well. We got to turn up the defense here. You got to stop Knowles with the ball. Here she comes. Goes right through the double team. Drives in for the layup. Scores two. Too easy. Everybody watched her go by. You got to step over in front of that. That crossover is pickable. They're just letting her drive right through them. Yeah, the ball never was taken out. Brooks picked it up and scored again as if it had been. She did not know that nobody had tried to pass the ball in yet. So it should be Eagles ball. Those That last two should not count. I don't want to clarify that. It seems that way. I don't think anybody from Summertown touched the ball to take it out. In that case, it should be interference. I think they were waiting on somebody to toss them the ball. They do keep the score 17-2, which is correct. So that last one did not count. One minute to go in the first. Knowles is going to steal the ball. Knowles is just eating us alive. She misses the layup. Now she's double. chasing down Tess Long. She's got a wolf on her. Tess going to keep going and lose it. Knowles going to get it back. Right. Now we're going to get a walk, and that's going to go on, I think that's Taylor there, who's a rebounder. She doesn't claim to be a dribbler. We need to score here, get some momentum going. As they're in a 2-3 here, they throw it out to Tess for a three. Short. It's short, follow your shot. That's a rebound for Taylor. She's almost in double digits for the rebounds. 30 seconds to go in the first. 17-2 your score. Cheetahs are leading. Knowles with it, takes her time across the line. Back out front to Knowles, 18 seconds to go. Guarded by Busby, illegal screen. That's gonna go against Taylor. If they lose her, that's a huge, huge loss because she is a rebounding yeah. machine. We'll, we'll try to get a, we'll try to get a, a, a at halftime. How yeah, many I'll get fouls? The, yeah, I'll get them, and then I'll try to keep it. That's my yeah. fault. I should have done that. Busby with it now. To Twelve seconds. Ten seconds. Over to Long. Back to Busby. To Garland at the high post. Over to Frank. She's got a shot. Got to shoot it. Shoots it up. No good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't know that I would have dribbled into the defense. I think I would have just pulled up the jumper. So after one, no signs of life for Summertown. We'll hope the second, third, and fourth go a, go a little different for us. We'll take a break, and we'll be back for the second quarter after this. You're listening to Summertown Middle School Basketball on the X Sports Network. Hello, neighbors. I'm Janet Alexander, and I'm running for Lawrence County School Board to represent the 7th District. With 40 years in early and elementary education, you could say I've worn many hats. Preschool director and owner, educator, student, administrator, principal, and mentor, we'll just name a few. I've had the pleasure of leading the love of learning with thousands of Lawrence County students through my time as a teacher. After retirement in 2017, I stepped full-time into my role of being Marmy to my five grand boys. And although my role as a teacher has changed, my commitment to the importance of education is now more prevalent than ever. Our teachers and students are a precious commodity to our future, and they deserve an advocate. And I would be honored to stand beside you as we ensure that we'll put our students first this March the 5th on Election Day. All right, we're back. Second quarter starting. Busby with it. Now let's not show our pass. Now get it to Garland at the high post. Then to McConnell. McConnell goes up. No good there. Garland's going to rebound and she's going to be fouled. It's like we get it up there to the high post, but then we don't know what to do with it. I'd say the one thing that you could say might be going for you that gives you a little bit of hope 
is they, somebody's got to be getting in foul trouble. Yeah. That's at least seven or eight fouls now for the team. Taylor's got to have And there is a three. sub coming yeah, in. I'm going to say it's Taylor. And I'm going to say she's got three, at least three. You need Knowles to get in foul trouble. I think that's the – I mean, that would be the, the the best thing that could happen to us because Knowles is just eating us alive. Yeah. And, and she then, did that against Eagleville the other night too. The girls are playing real timid against it too. I mean, just shut it down. It's no different. Shot up. Back iron. No shooter's rolling. Doesn't go in. Now Knowles with it. They give it over to Miller. Miller's going to drive. Stop. Pull up the three. No good. good, good rebound. Here comes Tess. Throws it ahead to Franks. Just rough pass. Catch, catch with two hands. I mean, that's not yeah. – Think about what she's going to do with the ball after she catches it. Yeah. If it doesn't look like she's going to do anything with it, don't pass it to her. It's not about just getting the pass there. See if it's a good place to put your team in. Yeah. Here comes Miller. So, Noel's not running the point at the moment. Now Miller's going to fire another three, and she's going to hit that one. So, apparently she's just – they've told her to shoot the ball. Two in a row, she makes one out of two. 20 to two, your score. Summertown's losing to yeah. Cresswell. And remember, six-minute quarters. Busby throws it right in the hands of Miller. They, then 10 gets it. That's Taylor. And then she tries to pass it to Miller, and she loses it. We get it back. I would love to see a bounce pass. There we go. Easy through a bounce pass. Franks drives in, gets bumped, and no good on the shot. There's a good no call. Over to Tess. She's going to walk with it. Again, I don't know that McConnell had anything there. I mean, they're in a pa they're in a two three that just stays packed in. They don't extend it out at all. So I don't know that going inside is our best option, unless you catch Easy at the high post a little bit, and she can do something with it there. So the ball's almost stolen there. Now it's back to Miller. So Miller's just come alive here. She did not much in the first quarter. Now she shot their first three here in the th second quarter. So now test with it. Over to Busby. Uh. Busby throws it high over Garland's head. And it's going to be a turnover. We might break the turnover record here, folks. Yeah. Here comes Miller. So Knowles is now quiet. Miller has taken over the show. Got away with the foul there. Miss. But McConnell quits there. You got to go for the rebound. She played good defense and then just quit on it. Yeah. Not sure why we don't get the ball. Ball's going to go out of bounds, luckily, to Summertown. Now here comes Hallie, Busby. Let's see if we can not throw it in their hands up high. Over to Tess. Let's have a little over 15 minutes left. Not to Franks. Don't to, throw that pass. To I come back from an 18-point deficit. We need to cut it in half at least. Over to Busby. We're shorter, so let's not throw it over the top, girls. How about a bounce pass? That's a good look for her. Just didn't go in. Busby guarding Miller. Miller has just decided to come play now. Now she goes behind the back. Knowles has not touched it in the second half, second quarter. And she was by far the leader in the first. Now Miller with it. Now she does hand off to Knowles. Knowles will drive. That, they've got that figured out. Yeah. We step over and hold up our hands and nobody rotates. Just nobody. I don't know that we've seen this dribble drive penetration from anybody else we played. Maybe the little girl from uh, uh, Kaufman, maybe, but Knowles just having her way with it. Now we'll get a block call. And another highlight here, too, is uh, Cresswell's got their hands on their hips. I see some heavy breathing. Maybe not from Knowles, but everybody else is kind of, maybe they're not in the best shape here. That could come to our advantage because we ought to be in shape well, if nothing else. At we this point. Throw it high again. It's going to be yeah. tipped out of bounds. Trying to find a bright spot. Yeah, until you. I mean, uh, you want to get to 12 right here. So be 22 to 12 at halftime. That wouldn't be insurmountable. That 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 could happen. They get into Garland. Nice play there. I know. She misses the layup. You can't score Just on can't that play. Just bucket. Yeah. Now she'll be fouled and the one. All right. Now let's go to the line and score here. Let's go. I think maybe you put in some fresh legs here for the last 255. Uh, somebody not maybe not afraid to foul. And you just don't let Knowles go the goal. So that should be two in foul trouble, although Taylor's coming back in, it looks like. Yeah, that's Taylor, and she's got to have three. I'm almost certain of it. So knowing that, you got to go right at her. But they're not, 
they're killing us on the boards and down low, but it's Noel's penetration that's, that's really hurting. Franks is gonna push her in the back, yep. And they get her for the call. She pushed Knowles in the back. So now it'll be Chris Wells' ball with 2.54 to go. They're telling him, take it out again. The ref's still calling the foul over here. Now Coach Springer calls for the press. You gotta, if you're gonna press here, you gotta stop the ball at Knowles. The prospect trailing by six now in the second quarter. Good, they made a little push. Yep. Frank's guarding Miller. Cut the sideline off. Now she goes around the nice, back. Nice, nice move. move. Loses control. They've done that a thousand times, you can tell. Yeah. So bodies fly. They get it over to Knowles. I think our girls are a little intimidated with the between the legs and around the back. They get it into Miller. Oh, just hold on the ball there. Now we'll get a hold. If that could go against Franks, that'll be her second, I believe. I can't see, this gym is really dark. You can't really tell it on the screen, but it is extremely dark in here. It was that way two years ago or whenever we was here last. Yeah. It? So Knowles with it, 2.32 to go in the second. 22 to four is your score. Long shot and nothing but backboard tip and air. Franks is gonna run. Going up the sideline, she meets Knowles. Gets it out to Tess Long. Long. I don't know what. They got tipped or yeah, lost it. rolled over to Garland. Busby's going to fire now. Short. She goes after the rebound with Taylor. There got to be a walk there or something or the timeout. Okay. He saved them there because they were they're yeah. looking. They're starting to look a little sloppy. So I mean, it could very well be like you said with Eagleville how they came back. That that could very well happen. Yeah, that's turned into a good game over there. They're only down two now. New prospect is again. Remember, they have an undefeated season. Oh, yeah. On the line here. Hey, we'll, we'll keep it here just to talk about uh, the other games going on here today. So this is the um, the bracket for South Lawrence. They're going to be playing Moore County today. Were they, If they were to win that one, they will advance to play the winner of Etheridge in East Nashville. Um, East Nashville was a one seed that had a bye, and Etheridge won the other night versus um, East End. So Etheridge will be playing East Nashville tonight at 7.30. So two more games. Coming after this one, um, and then if they were to both win, they would play each other uh, tomorrow night. So that could be interesting, but we'll talk about that if yeah, we get there. Yeah, if it gets there. Yeah. we got a long road to hoe. So it looks like New Prospect, yeah, still within two there. Are they the dark or the light? I must, the no, dark. Uh, New Prospect's yeah. wearing a white jersey. Okay, all right. So here comes Miller with it. Frank's garden, and she blows right by her. Now, good, good chase down and get the block. Let's set something up. Play your basketball. Don't play their basketball. Here comes Busby over to Long. She's going to drive by Miller, get a hand check, go in, circle shot, no good. Rebound by Garland and Franks. Taylor with it. They're going to foul. They try to get it. Now she throws it out head on the outlet. Got to have a safety back there. Yep. Now, Knowles gets the rebound. When they give you a freebie, you got to rebound the ball. Yeah. They get it out to Long. She's going to dribble to the middle where the crowd is, up for the layup, and she'll be fouled. Good move. That's a good job. Make sure you're fouled when you go in there. Make sure of it. Don't go in and throw something up. They're, uh, they're looking a little lazy on defense. Definitely see a, a change from where we were in the first quarter with them. Mm -hmm. Another sub coming in. Yep. And that should be uh, – did he call that on – that could be Taylor maybe? Yeah, so Taylor's going to go out. That might She might have just picked up another one there, Will, on Tess. That could have been because he was awful. Oh, yeah, he's holding out his hands. He's saying three or four. Okay. So that could be huge for him because when she's in, she's getting the rebound. You can bet on that. And that gives the little dish off, too. That makes it tough. So shot up and in there by Tess. Nice job there. They get it in to Knowles. Over to Miller. you got to push her left. Push her left. And when she goes around the back, pick it. Yep, slide your feet. Good job behind the back, Miller does. She's gonna slow it down, one minute, 12 seconds. It looks fancy, folks, but it's not that fancy if you just play good, solid defense. Busby Garden, gotta put a little pressure on her. Knowles to the baseline to Miller. That's the one-two combo right now, other than the drive and dish. And here she goes, Knowles runner, no good. Garland with it, 50 seconds to go. Ahead to McConnell, over to Franks. Gotta score here. 
Got to make a better pass. Uh, if you get a hand on it, catch it. Got to have it. That's huge. I mean, you got to have those. That's just it's too easy. It's a two-on-one. Bounce pass would be great there. That would be super. Knowles with it, 44 seconds to go. Put a little pressure on her and everybody else keep your eye on helping. Here comes Knowles, Busby guard. Busby known to get in their, in, their, in their britches a little bit on defense. Hopefully she does, let's go. Stay with her, stay right here with her. Put the pressure on, you're down 20, let's go. Miller with it, dribble, drive, middle, over to the for the layup, no good. Miller gets it again, she's gotta be fouled there. Guthrie, would you? I don't know. Would, they're scoring all their points underneath for the most yeah. part. They've had a few threes. But well, a 2-3 two, three, they, two, three zone, would a 2-3 zone not stop that you know, well, penetration right, and dumping I, off? Or? I kind of think the same thing, but right there we had three girls, white girls, around Miller, and she's still getting it. Nobody put a body on her. So, yes, yeah. I think it would definitely help if the bodies that are there are going to do something, like block out. You're now, definitely but right. But the out, she can, the she can hit the three. Yeah. Well, they've only got one three-pointer. Yes. Miller's hit one, and that's it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Knowles has airballed two three pointers and nearly missed everything on the last. So right. yeah, you're right. I think if, I think you pack it in pretty tight. Let's at least get a decent shot but off here. We can't let them dribble out front either because they're more yeah. than willing to do so. Garland with it. She forces it down to Busby for the two, and there it's good. Go. So that's good. A little it's momentum here. And on a good note. Yeah. So I mean, definitely see a difference in the in the teams here. We don't look near as tired as they do. We've just made a ton of mistakes. Right. I mean, ton of them. And, they, and they've got some players, too. So, I mean, you got to give them credit, too. I'll try to get some fouls here at halftime, and then we'll be back for a third quarter action after this. You're listening to Summertown Middle School Basketball on the X Sports Network. Swap and Shop Center in Lawrenceburg is your go-to stop to complete your home, business, a combination of both, or really anything you can think of. With one of the region's biggest selection of bedroom furniture, name brand mattresses, recliners, living room and dining room suits, accents for the home or office, quality name brand appliances, and did I mention Swap and Shop services what they sell? This is family owned and operated business at its best. And the best part is, they'll treat you like family too. We got bedroom suits, mattresses, dining room suits, appliances, outdoor equipment, mowers and more. See us at the Swap and Shop Center in Larkburg, Tennessee. LUS is committed to our customers, from providing and maintaining energy efficient utility services to friendly, helpful customer service, LUS is there. At LUS, we're always challenging everything we know, every day. We strive to improve efficiency and reliability while focusing on our responsibility to our customers and the community. It's our promise to provide dependable service to our customers every time. Because we don't just work in Lawrence County, we live here too. Jack Davis Insurance, located at 201 West Gaines Street in Lawrenceburg, has you covered through all of life's obstacles. Facing those challenges is easier together. That's why Jack Davis specializes in group insurance. Cover the most valuable aspect of your business, your employees, with coverage for life, accident, cancer, critical illness, short-term disability, dental, and vision. Jack Davis can customize plans for every need. Serving Lawrence and surrounding counties since 1987. Contact Jack Davis Insurance today at 931-242-5225. Let's make a deal. This is Jeff Hood with Keller Williams Hood Company in Lawrenceburg, Tennessee. The real estate market is moving so fast and making a mistake or a bad decision could cost you or lead to disappointment. At Keller Williams, our team of professionals are the very best at what they do and they have the very best resources to help you make your best deal. 
Call us at 931-762-5816 or better yet, go to our website at kwhoodcompany.com. We're Keller Williams Hood Company, making real estate deals great again. Efficiency, reliability, accuracy. Trust Title and Escrow of Lawrence County to provide exceptional title insurance services. Offering a wide range of title services across Tennessee, our team is unmatched. In fact, we're the most experienced closing team around. We get the job done on time at a fair price and ensure every last detail is correct. Our goal is to give you peace of mind. When you work with us, you work with people who live where you do. We understand the importance of the real estate community and strive to build strong relationships with all parties involved in the process. Whether you're buying a home, selling a business, acquiring land or anything in between, you're in good hands with title and escrow of Lawrence County. Put the most experienced closing team on your side. Contact title and escrow of Lawrence County today. For the best meal from south of the border, head to Cocina Real in Puente Grande for lunch and dinner. With a wide array of mouth-watering entrees, there is something for everyone on the menu. And you can't forget the cheese dip. They'll treat you like family, and you'll never leave hungry. Make Cocina Real Mexican Restaurant and Puente Grande Mexican Restaurant your choice for authentic cuisine. Located in Lawrenceburg, Tennessee. Shop McMaster's Home Gallery for furniture, appliances, and more. And shop quality, shop convenience, shop service, shop local. A family-owned business with a long history of serving the region. We're a one-stop home furnishings destination. We feature brands you know, competitively priced, backed by professional installation and service. You can trust that we'll take good care of you before and after the sale. For your home, shop smart. Shop McMaster's Home Gallery today. Like you, our roads are in Lawrence County, providing banking for every stage of life since 1934. Lawrenceburg Federal Bank has been not just your bank, but also your friend, helping you with home loans, consumer and auto loans, and your everyday personal banking needs. Lawrenceburg Federal offers you a warm smile and personal experience, as well as the conveniences of modern day online banking, mobile banking, and telebanking. Lawrenceburg Federal Bank, your neighbor and friend, located at 118 West Gain Street, next to the courthouse. Do you ever worry about having too much in the garage? What about where you're going to put the mower or your ATV or better yet, your mother-in-law? Look no further than Quality Storage Buildings located right next door to Flat Rock Cheese and More on the Minor Hill Highway in Pulaski, Tennessee. There you'll find the answer to your need in a compact or spacious metal building. Built by hand right at Flat Rock by some of the finest craftsmen around, there's a perfect building for everyone, including economy, utility, cabin, lofted or garage models, and even an animal shelter line. Buy or rent to own, see the different models at Flat Rock or on North Main Street in Ardmore and on Highway 43 South in Dunn. Call today, 931-363-3603 or 931-201-2205. The 
the Summit of Lawrenceburg is the premier senior and assisted living community in the region. The Summit makes it home for you or your loved one with diverse suites that welcome and encourage community, plus gathering spaces, neighborhoods, daily activities, and a wonderful staff that supports you every day. Hi, I'm Tara Blue. I'm the new director of the Summit, and we would like to invite you and your family to come and tour our facility. We would love to see you here. Hey guys, I'm Kyle Hammock, general manager here at Heritage Automotive, your Chevy GMC dealer in Lawrenceburg, Tennessee. I am from Marshall County, Tennessee, where I went to Cornersville High School. I attended Cumberland University. After Cumberland, I went into the United States Marine Corps to serve the country. After that, I went right back into the car business. I'm very familiar with the car business. I have been around the car business pretty much my entire life. And my commitment to you is to ensure the most competitive new and used vehicle pricing on the market, as well as the best service around. Well, we'll treat you like family here at Heritage Automotive in Lawrenceburg, Tennessee. Head on over to Shaw Southeast Distributing in Lawrenceburg to find everything you need for your home, business, or fundraiser. To make life easier, Shaw Southeast Distributing now accepts EBT cards. Have a concession stand, food truck, or just your kitchen at home? Leave it to Shaw to fill your shelves with ease. Shaw Southeast Distributing delivers. Family owned and operated. Phone 931-762-7760. Follow us on Facebook or visit us at 1603 Ripke Avenue in Lawrenceburg. The Hidden Garden, located just off the square in downtown Lawrenceburg, is your hometown oasis for massage, aesthetics, full hair and nail services, and body waxing. Gift certificates are available and be sure to follow them on Facebook for their specials. The Hidden Garden, your peace, your place. 222 Pulaski Street, Lawrenceburg, Tennessee, or phone 931 762 9799. If you All right, slowly coming back here. Uh, start of the second half. A uh, quick update on the new prospect. They have oh, it's tied, tied it. it up. Yeah. Tied it up. It is in the third quarter there. It is 27 to 27. There was a score just now, so that's probably yep. New prospect has taken the lead, 29-27. Here we are at 22 to seven. Not and, quite the same here. Yeah, and Chriswell is uh, leading us. They get it into Garland. She's going to score the two. All right. Does she have? No, Busby's got two. I was going to say Garland might have all of them. So now Miller with it. They're trying to do a little trap. They get it over to Knowles, back to Miller. Miller's going to drive, kick it down to Taylor. Taylor misses off the glass. Garland's going to rebound. Don't have to go nowhere. Franks picks it up. Let's not look sloppy, girls. Good crisp everything here. Long throws it over and hits Busby and goes right out of bounds. Busby wasn't looking. We don't need any momentum killers. You yeah. know, we started off hot, Let's or started off strong. Let's yeah. keep it going. Just no silliness. How about that? Just smart basketball. Lots of pressure being put on here. Yep, and Knowles is going to get past Busby. That's saying a lot. Knowles goes behind the back and crossover. Busby's going to tie her up. Knowles throws the elbow. Probably could have been a foul either way there. Miller with it, fires the deep three. No good. Garland blocks out Taylor. That should be four or possibly five. So did you? On Taylor. I didn't get down there because they went over there. Oh, okay. Uh, but I'm going to say that's either four or five. It's got to be. That's it. Yep. Oh, he held up his hand. Four. Okay, she's got four. Okay. Yep, and her dad's holding it up to her. Coach one holding it up over there. So that's big. She's been in foul trouble the whole game. Busby with it now. Need a good one here. Frank's inside to Pettis. Pettis kicks it back out to Franks. In and out there. Good. That's big. Franks for a big three. Nice pass there by Pettis to get it back out. She didn't force it. That's, that's what good things happen. Knowles with it. Crossover on Busby. Crossover again behind the back. And then passed off to Miller. Miller over to Knowles. Guarded Sorry. by Busby. Gets in the lane. Fires the two. Good. Nice shot there by so Knowles. So was it Emer Emerson's shot wasn't a three then? Oh, I guess not. Nope. So 24-11, we have hit double digits. Knowles big two there. Garland lobs it over to Franks, then to Busby, then to Garland at the high post. Just nothing there right now. Pettis takes the baseline, runner, no good. Nice shot, just got to finish. 
So Frank's now guarding Miller. She's going around the back. You can see her set it up. Kicking ah. off to Taylor, it's going to happen every time. Who is guarding that over there and stepping off and helping? Because the other post player needs to step over and clean it up. Tess driving. Oh, good. Gets away with the walk there. Garland from the free throw line. Good. Nice job by Tess to click and make a good pass to Garland. I want to know right here, this is what we need to know, who is coming over to help when they get penetrated and who's there to cover? So if Garland goes, Pettis has got to cover. If Pettis goes, Garland's got to cover. Long three, no good. So I guess this low they, keeps shooting that, I Yeah, guess. they're resorting to some threes now. Garland with it over to Franks. Like to see her get hot. If they give it to you, sister, take it. Step back, pull up, jumper, good. This is going here just, we go, 24-15. This is going just like the Eagleville game did against this same press team. Knowles breaks the press. Here she comes. She, out of control. Cannot give a foul there. Oh, take a charge. Like she was out of control. There was yeah, there nothing was, good going to come wasn't, out. She wasn't going to score on that. So now, Busby Garden, significant height difference here. Taylor's going to take go out. And that is, I can't see from her hair, there, 15, maybe, five, Davis. That's Davis coming in. Protect the goal here. Knowles to inbounds. Fires it up, no good. They slap at it, no nice. good. They get, get another rebound. rebound. Busby with it. She's going to drive. She's got room. Stops, pulls it up, blocked by Miller. Pull up sooner. Busby chasing it down ahead to Lewis for the layup. No good. No burden. Maybe Caused her to miss, that's a good thing. So that should just be Pettis' first. So no hurt there, and she keeps her from scoring. Let's see if Davis or Lewis can score from the free throw line. McConnell set to come back in. Busby's maybe got to see that height difference and either go up for the layup and try to get the foul or pull up yeah. sooner and set it up. Shot up, back iron, no good. McConnell's coming in for Garland. Give her a break. New prospects up four. Good job, they fought back. And we are clawing our way ever so slightly here in the third. Two minutes, 48 to go, 24-15 your score. Second shot up, no good. Got to grab that. Oh, yeah. Get it. So Izzy's taking a break. Yeah, here comes Tess, and that might be good for the first fourth quarter. Long does a, has a great move to get to the basket and misses the layup. I don't think she was expecting the defen yeah, defender to, to just open. quit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So here comes capitalize. Knowles behind the back, over to Miller for the three, and it's good. So she's one of a two of five now, two of six, sorry, from three-point land. Here comes Long. That's just a big momentum killer right there. Yeah, it is. Franks with it, throws it to McConnell. McConnell goes into the defense. Nothing there. Back out to Franks. Oh, uh -huh. look good. Got to give her a good pass there, up in her chest, so she don't have to move her feet. Here comes Knowles, one minute, 57 seconds. So Coach Springer calls blue, that's one foot in the paint. Basically, or sag off, basically. You have a high school quarter left, you know, a little under eight minutes to get 12 points. Yep, long with a rebound, don't panic To make panic up 12 here. points. Don't throw it, just be careful, don't push it here. Don't get a good play. Long loses it, gets it back. Down low to McConnell for the layup. Good. Nice pass by Franks. Signs of life here. Knowles with it. Fakes pass right to Busby's face. See her set up around the back and pick that thing. Pass over to the wing. I can't really see the number here, and that's going to be a walk. So good turnover. I think she walks every time she gets it. A lot of walking down the floor here, both sides. Take advantage, girls. Take advantage. You got the momentum, 27-17, got it back within 10. Busby over to Tess Long, drives, nothing there to McConnell for the jumper. Mm. Long, not a bad shot. Now here comes Miller, somebody cut it up. Nice job by Pettis to try to cut it off, she's got to stay with it. Miller throws it up, no good. She's going to get a push and that's going to go our, our way. Good call there by the ref. Just let her be out of control, but you got to stop the dribble too. Pettis did an outstanding job hustling over, but then you got to do something when you get there. Don't just let her cross you over and go by you. Be ready for the crossover. They've only got three moves, between the leg, behind the back, crossover. 
All right, Busby, here we go. 50 seconds. We've got it to win 10. I'd like to break 10 right here. I'll say 10. the important thing is to get in single digits. Yep, into McConnell. Kicks it down to Franks. Nice pass. She's fouled. How many fouls do you think that is? That that's the, Lewis, and that should only be probably two or oh, three. Oh, okay, Let me so that's, see not, that's not the one that has. Yeah, Taylor's out. She'll be out for the rest of it for a while. Let me see how many he holds up over there when he gets Taylor or Lewis, sorry. I didn't even see him do it. Let's see. He's going to wait on the guy to hold up his fingers as Franks goes to the line. First one's good. That's within nine, folks. Yeah. Don't count us out yet. I think South Lawrence showed up, and they've come out of the tunnel a little bit to get ready for their game, and I think our girls started feeling a little shame and they started playing some ball. <laughs> I had that thought. I was like, man, the South Lawrence fans are going to come yeah, in and see this. Yeah, had a light of fire under you. Knowles with it. Got to be within five foot here, 30 seconds. Got to put a little pressure on her. Keep the count going. Miller with it. Just don't give up a three here on her. Knowles picks her dribble up. Got to get in her shorts. Yeah. Here we go. Back out to Knowles. 20 seconds to go. Miller with it now, pressure, kicks it over pressure. to Knowles, trying to get the last second shot, get a count here. She picks it up, like to see a turnover, maybe go the other way here. Knowles with it, Busby Garden, eight seconds. seconds. Miller with it now, she's gonna fire a long three, out on her a little bit, don't foul, don't foul here. Two seconds, fired up a long shot, no good, back iron. Good job, that's not a bad, not a bad end of the corner there. So we've cut it to within nine, 27, 18 is your score. You're listening to Summertown Middle School Basketball on the X Sports Network. Got a dent, a ding, a scratch, or a bent fender? Major or minor, Car Country Collision Center in Leoma can fix you up. Car Country works with all insurance carriers, gives free estimates, can work on foreign and domestic vehicles, and has experience you can trust. They've been in business since 1990. Unfortunately, accidents happen, but you can get your car back on the road with as little hassle as possible with the help of Car Country. Call 931-852-4708 or stop by at 2567 Highway 43 South in Leoma. Swap and Shop Center in Lawrenceburg is your go-to stop to complete your home, business, a combination of both, or really anything you can think of. With one of the region's biggest selection of bedroom furniture, name brand mattresses, recliners, living room and dining room suits, accents for the home or office, quality name brand appliances, and did I mention Swap and Shop services what they sell? This is family owned and operated business at its best. And the best part is, they'll treat you like family too. We got bedroom suits, mattresses, dining room suits, appliances, outdoor equipment, mowers, and more. See us at the Swap and Shop Center. In all right, we're back. Here we go. Start of the fourth quarter. If you'd have told me we'd be within nine in the fourth, I'd have told you you might be a little silly. <laughs> Knowles with it. She's going to try to take some time off, I'm sure. Double crossover between the legs. Girl's got talent. I give her that. McConnell gets the rebound over to Tess Long. Let's make a smart decision here. Don't drive into there. That's a mess. There we go. Although Tess is called Tess the mess. Pettis is going to lose it, go back up, no good. Well, how does that ought to walk anyway? Wow. The bounce, I'm, I don't know what, I didn't know what to say there. They call a double dribble or a, so Knowles looking for Miller. Garland set to come back in. Garland should have some fresh legs now. Frank's guarding Miller. Got to put a little pressure on her. Don't let her just dribble it. Missed the screen there. Test long guards. There's got to be some ability to float away off of a wing here and double up on somebody. Miller, runner, good. Nice job by Miller there. McConnell's got to step over and really put it on her. Nope. Ahead from Busby to McConnell, who throws it up. Not a very good shot. Got lucky. That was good defense there. That was not a very, that was not, I don't think that was a, a foul. That's her fifth foul, I'm pretty sure. Because that was Taylor who tried to come back Here's in. Here's a replay of it. Yeah, she, she did a very good job of holding her hands the whole time. And McConnell's contact into her is what, what the foul ended up being. But I, I got to disagree with that one on Taylor. Well, now you now, got an 11-point deficit to overcome in four minutes, 50 seconds. I would say without order. a doubt, the coach needs to have his hand slapped for putting her back in that early in the fourth. I With mean, a big she, lead. Yeah, she's a, she's a dominant player for you. Why even risk that? Hey, you big, want her for the last two minutes if you got to have her. Big free throw by McConnell there. Yeah. Good. Second one, back iron. Frank's there with it. Get a jump ball. That might be the first jump ball of the game. And that gives the ball Very back well could time. be. The prospects. All right, so we got it back here. 
holding on now with the two-point lead. Yeah, they were up as much as five just a second ago. Franks to inbound. Knowles has got to give a room. That's a delay of game. That's going to be the first warning. Yep. Delay of game warning on a number one Knowles. Somebody needs to tell her what to do. Okay, yep, back up. There you go. Just can't reach across the line there. Full timeout is going to be called by Cresswell. Probably not a bad idea. Yeah. So let's see what Coach Springer cooks up here for him. Uh, like to see a score off this inbounds play. You know me. I'm a fan of the inbounds. <laughs> So we'll take a quick break with them. You're listening to Summertown Middle School Basketball on the X Sports Network. Arctic Air keeps your home or business comfortable. For more than 20 years, we've provided outstanding residential and commercial services through Southern Middle Tennessee. Whether you need assistance with your heat, air conditioning, preventive maintenance, or anything in between, trust our reliable team to get the job done. We'll take the time to figure out your specific needs and recommend what we believe is right and best for your situation. We've been using Arctic Air for over 15 years now. Their service is great. They're here when we need them and their prices are competitive. They take the worry out of the heat and air so I don't have to. Arctic Air, when you need us, we'll be there. All right. Frank set to inbounds, need to score here. Down 10, 4.45 to go, clock finally starts. Frank gets a rounder, pulls up long two. Front back iron, rebound McConnell, go back up, good job. That's gonna put us within two, within eight. 29, 21, 4.32 to go. Coach Springer decides not to press. Now we're in the two, three and we attack. Knowles uh, goes right goes around right it. By. But she misses. McConnell tries to take the charge. Garland's gonna come out with it. Don't do anything silly here. You got a big opportunity here. Let's set it up in half court. Busby's gonna drive, kick it to McConnell. McConnell down to Franks, fights for it, gets it back. Let's not play hot potato. Let's set something up. You can't wait too long, let's go. Into McConnell, nothing there. Stop throwing it in there. Long for the three, big time money. It's getting loud in here. 29-24, here we come back. Big shot by Miss Tess Long, great shot there. Good pass, good shot. Kick it over, no hurt there. Long three, way long, rebound. No good, come back with it. Here comes Tess, let's set it up again, get you another one. Runner, good! 29-26, Tess Long is went in fuego. 29-26, 3.25 to go. Knowles with it, kicks it over, we'll take that all day. Garland with the rebound. Long says, give me the ball. She's like butter on a roll, folks. Smooth, smooth, smooth. Uh, over the top pass by Busby. I'd like to right, smack her hand. Don't foul, don't between foul. Between the regroup. legs, over there, here we go. Got to get back. Let her shoot it, let her shoot it. Yep, good job. And that's going to be a foul on number 10, Brooks. And I'm going to say that's probably, well, this is fourth quarter. We just started. So that's hey, that, that's so five fouls is what I've got. Oh, wait. I didn't set it to the fourth quarter. I was going to say, I think that's two or three to yeah. the fourth. Sorry. I was thinking the same thing at first. I forgot to set my quarter. All right. Need a half court good shot here. It doesn't have to be a three. It's 2.56 to go in the fourth. Do not pass the ball over the top into hands, please. Garland for a long uh, two, no good. That wasn't the shot. Yeah, that wasn't either. Uh, normally okay with her taking any shot, but let's kick that over to a wing. There's nothing at that high post right now. 29, 26, 245 to go. Little fire under the feet here. Knowles with it. Her and Miller are gonna try to hold it out out here, I think. Back to Miller. Long three, good. Oh my God. That is a dagger, folks. That's huge. Miller now with four or five three-pointers. That's big. That puts it over wow. the top again. Knowles read it like a paperback. Scores the two. You cannot throw the ball over the top with their hands up there. Why can we not throw a bounce pass all year? Bounce pass, bounce pass. Bounce so pass. they've um, started. They're getting things underway at the high school. Um, Lewis County's yep. come to town. Kevin Wright's filling in for me, so I can be here. Um, last I saw, the new prospect game was. Um, no, it's in commercial break, but I think it was tied. At 34, uh, last I yeah. saw. Yeah, I didn't see it. I mean, they went from up five and then up two. So then Kaufman Panthers 
are also hosting girls and boys. They should be underway here in just a minute or two. So uh, Lawrence County is at Marshall County, and all this is being covered somehow tonight. But. Yeah, nice job by all the people out there running stuff to bring games to everybody. That's a so what? So we got so Summertown here got within three, and then allowed five straight points yep. to, to the uh, Cheetahs. Yep. And pro- I, I give 100% props to Knowles and Miller. They they are two good ball players, and we have not had an answer for them all night. Any anything they haven't done right, or anything that's went our way, is because they just made a mistake and didn't do it right. Miller's big three there, and then Knowles with a slap down on the pass. That's big. Two, two. minutes to go. We gotta we gotta get it back right here. New prospect is tied up, like Will said. Busby over to the wing to Garland. Uh-huh. Not where we want to go with the ball. There's nothing there. Now Miller with it. She's going to try to run a little time, kick it over the wing, gives it back to Miller. Uh, that was Davis said, I don't want nothing to do with it. Miller drives, throws it down low, scored the two, and that's going to be an and one. That may do it. That could be the icing. But it's not, I mean, just as much as what they've done, it's what we haven't done. Yeah. Just silliness. And I, I'm, I'm the girl's biggest fan. It's, it doesn't always sound that way, but nobody wants them to do better than I do. And if it's frustration, it's because I want them to do better. Uh, and we've just done silly stuff and just hadn't fixed it. When, I mean, you worked that hard to get back in it. You want to finish that off. Here we go. Buzz be with it. Let's make a good pass. That's going to be a foul on Knowles. Probably not a bad foul there by Knowles, but that might be number four in the fourth quarter. Could be. So, which free throws aren't going to really help us at this point. We need to put some big points on the board. Franks inbounds to Busby. Gives it back to her. See you. Tess thought about it. Kicks it back to Busby. She's going to shoot it. Good. There's hope. So, that's going to get us within Seven. Seven. Still a big mountain to climb in a minute and a half. We didn't score seven points in the first half. So, uh, With two minutes to go, New Prospect has a lead in the ball. Uh, Pettis just checked in for the Eagles. Uh, I think she'll probably get McConnell there. So we need to cause a turnover, and we sure don't need to give up an easy layup under the goal. Starting lineups are underway at the high school. Only one more home game after uh, tonight in high school. Wow. Wow. I, I, I remember when middle school ended like a month or two before <laughs> high school ended. Yeah. That's crazy. So we are showing press. You got to double Knowles here. I mean, I mean, you got to. You did, if Garland's got to help pick her up right here. Here she comes up. They get it in. Oh, it could be a walk. And then Busby's going to get fouled. So, nice job there. Should have an inbounds play here for you, Guthrie. Yeah, I'm telling you. Coach Springer needs to pull it out here. This has got to be a score. Pettis will take it out. They're going to try to get the ball to Franks, I would think, or somebody on the three-point line. Let's see if it is Franks. They get it right into Tess Long. Misses all <laughs> wide open. We missed the shot. Miller with it now. you got to press her. Stop the ball. Good job by Busby. Fight right here, kid. Fight. Miller with it. Gets it over. And then she's going to foul. I think Busby had to pick up the foul there. Might have waited a little too long, but credit to her, she stayed with her. It's at least two fouls that we've committed. I'm, it may have been more. Yeah, I'm not doing a good job I'm keeping gonna up with I'm going to say two, them. maybe three at the most. I think Miss Springer's checking too. Go ahead and get your foul if you're going to get the foul. Yeah. A timeout or walk. Oh. Got to walk here. Let's say, yeah. we can't call a timeout. Man, that, that shot down here, that's going to that's gonna come back to haunt us a little bit. Because she was wide open yeah. for the shot. Got to go, Busby. Got to go, baby. Got to go. We got to score here. Quickly and do it. Force it inside. Thank goodness. Coach Springer calls a timeout right as we throw the ball away. That first pass again going right yeah, down the middle. Yeah, from you know, the we middle talked, to the middle. There was some game not too long ago yeah. that we uh, pointed that out, and I thought they had fixed it then. Just but, like the middle doesn't need to go back to the top if they get it from the side. The middle should always go side to side, and they should get it from the side to side. And the only reason you go to the middle is either, one, that person can shoot jump shots all day long and they're wide open, or you have a great backdoor cut or a baseline runner ready to score. In our case, Easy can make that shot, but she also has defense all around her because we've thrown it the same place all night. So Kaufman girls are underway. They have, they're just now starting against Cannon County. 
they're up two to nothing. And then you got Lawrence County High School at Marshall County, and that's tied two to two as that's underway now. New prospects up by four, and they look like they're trying to hold and play keep away with one, one minute, minute left to go. To go. Yeah. They may pull it out. Good for oh, them. Oh, and he's going to fire the shot. Good <laughs> from the new prospects. I think they were supposed to be holding it, and bam, <laughs> the laser. Here we go. One minute to go, Busby. We got to have something here, kid. They get it into Garland. She gives the runner. No good. That's a good shot. Not a bad penetration. And, you know, you smart, got a foul here. Smart right? on their part not to foul. Yeah, I mean, I think you got a foul here, right? Yep. Pettis does foul. She gets a hand on her for a hand check. I mean, you got a foul like as soon as she touches that ball. Because you still got a couple to make up, I believe. I want to say that's maybe four. Let's go with four. Well, it's at least three. Yep. Ball in. Good job by Busby to go for the ball there. That's what you got to do. Uh, don't think, I don't think Busby's in any type. All yeah. Right, so that was the fourth foul. Right on the arm right here. He's telling them to foul. Foul. Yep, good job. Oh, that should be a jump. Jump ball. Got to be a jump. Uh, oh, jump yeah. Jump ball, yes. All right, that goes to there. them, but that gets the arrow changed. Yeah. So at least the next one will go to us. Good job by Busby. And Knowles didn't end the play when the whistle blew. I think the ref let her know that's not okay. Push off there by Knowles, gets away with it. Busby Garden, now the foul, good job. Nothing wrong with that. Busby's telling the coach how many fouls she's got. So now we'll go to the line, they will be shooting. The coach is gonna pull everybody off the line, as in he doesn't want to foul. Do not let Knowles get a rebound here. First shot up is good by Knowles. Knowles definitely had a, she's had a great game, uh, just to be honest about it, and so has Miller. But Knowles is the different maker for sure. Second shot, front iron, and Knowles is going to go get of the rebound. Course. And she's going to go ahead and score two. And that should, that's, that's, that's going to be the icing. Yeah. Great job by Knowles there. That's just, that's just effort. Tess Long with a nice runner and a layup. That's going to put it within seven, eight, eight. eight. Uh, I mean, Knowles, that's just, that's just out working. You got five Summertown Eagles down there and one purple, and the one purple goes gets the ball. It's yeah, up. I mean, you got to, you got to at least have to get three more field goals now without allowing a point. So it's a pretty tall order at this point. But I am proud of the uh, the comeback effort. Yeah, um, yeah, good. You know effort. that they didn't just quit after getting down. Was it twenty at one point? Yeah, oh, twenty two to seven at halftime. Twenty four, yeah, yeah. Um, and it's that's a big that's a big effort to get back in it. Just got to finish it. Yeah. And sometimes you know playing a team out of area, it's hard to get up for that. You know, it's where we're used to playing those rivals. Um, and when you play a team that's a little bit intimidating, and Knowles and Miller, they are intimidating. They can handle the ball like none of the girls we've seen, and they, they do a good job of it. Um, so it's understandable a little bit. Foul by Tess Long, and it's going to be 34 seconds to go. New Prospect now, wins. Shooting two. They yep. won. Yep, good job there by so New Prospect. They remain um, undefeated, and they will advance. Um, sure, it's just going to keep getting tougher for them. I saw the team that beats South Lawrence the other day. They look pretty tough. But a good for new prospects. Excited for that school. Miller at the line. She'll be shooting two. First one is good. Again, big game from Miller as well. Tip your hats to, to Miller and Knowles and Taylor, who only got to play a few minutes because of foul trouble. But when she was in there, she made a big difference. Second shot's good by Miller. That's going to ice the cake, I think. 41-31, just scored. Knowles doesn't even do anything. They just hold up their hand, get it over to Frank. You got to have a couple of these. Rebounded by Miller. Don't foul here. Just yeah, you don't have to foul. You don't have just to foul. Let it go. You just don't have to foul. He can't call the dogs off yet. Good job there handling the pressure. Frank is going to foul. I think you can call him off here. He may looks like he's looking at the bench like he might bring in some subs, and he is. Going to give the eighth graders their uh, curtain call. Yep. So early in the season, if you'd have told me we would even be remotely this good, I would have told you you were absolutely crazy. Yeah, uh, the improvement over the, the, the last, what, you know, the first month was pretty rough, let's just say yeah, it. Yeah. And, um, and then got really close to winning some games, but we still were losing at the end. I told you at one point we were the best 
one win team in the state. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Then went on a on a streak. I think won five in a row at one point. Finished really strong uh, with the win at Wayne County before the Christmas break. And so, I think that's when the team really was in their stride. Uh, so I will say big, big, huge kudos to Coach Springer. Uh, the year we could have had versus the year we had uh, yeah. definitely deserves recognition for that. He won't take it, I'm sure. Uh, but great, yeah. great job by him. And I've heard several of the girls just speak truly, truly high of him. Yeah, uh, so. and he won't be happy with this today. The players are not going to be happy with this. They're going to go to the locker room and cry. Um, and, yeah, uh, it would be a very painful thing to go back and watch this as a team. I'm sure yeah. they're glad they don't have to do that. Cause, yeah, they might not do that. Because this was a winnable game. Oh, yeah, um, yeah definitely. But um, all things considered, I'm proud of the season they had. Yeah. Um, and if they learn from this uh, moving yeah. forward, because, you know, ultimately – you know they're going to the next level some of them mm -hmm. and this is where you got to take beatings like this and you got to realize hey i could have done that i couldn't just get better from it so i will say this for the, the team that we just played what 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 awaits for them um they're going to have a tough game next game because they're going to be playing Fayetteville middle and um, i thought if we did win tonight we were going to really struggle with the next game right um Fayetteville middle we saw them They've got their own live streaming crew too, by the way, and they're really good. Wow. But um, that, so that's who um, that's who uh, Cresswell will have tomorrow. Uh, but coming up next, we have uh, Moore County and South Lawrence. That should be um, a really good game. Got that bracket there in front of you. Yep. And then following that game, uh, we will have uh, the Etheridge Lady Bulldogs. So Guthrie, thanks. And uh, Guthrie, I know you're going to help me out a little yep. bit with this next game. But I want to thank you for calling all of our games hey, this yeah, season. Yeah, enjoyed it making all the road trips. Um, been another fun middle school season to, yeah. to live stream. We've done three of these now. I don't care what anybody says. we got to be getting better. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah. you know, a big shout-out to the eighth graders. I, I mean, I know I think we got four or five. Is that we've, right? We've got five. Five. Yeah. So, you know who you are. Big shout-out to you. I know this is a big time in your life, and uh, and I, I'm proud of you. Uh, I know I probably don't always say the best things or give you the, as much credit as I should, but oh, yeah, we, definitely we, proud of, of we love you are. Yeah, we love love them, love them like they're our own. Only wish them the best. That's why we're so hard on them. So uh, we'll end this broadcast and be back on the next one here in about uh, 11, 12 minutes. But thank you for being with us, and thank you for listening to Summertown Middle School Basketball on the Exports Network. Going the distance with local sports. 